Meantime, biotech stocks, one of the worst performers in today's sell-off. The IBB down around 2%. Those names adding to an already steep decline, down more than 30 from the highs that were set just over a year ago. Let's bring in Michael Yee, biotech analyst over at Jefferies, who might offer a couple ideas in what's obviously a tough broad tape. Michael, uh, talk to me about where you think directionally the sector's headed. Yeah. Hey, great to be here with you guys. You know, uh, it's been tough for the last two years, you know, as you were uh, referring to, and it's been a tough year this year. You know, what I really like uh, is the recent rally off the bottom. If you pull up the chart on the XBI, uh, up 25% off the bottoms. And I think it's a really important data point uh, that we've had a bunch of uh, positive clinical data sets, a bunch of financings, a bunch of good news. And I do think we're headed higher uh, into the end of the year and into 23. Is that, are we leaning on M&A ideas or not? Look, I, I think there's two points you bring up. One is the fact that uh, you have had a bunch of deals in the past uh, two months Pfizer being particularly aggressive in the space, deploying a lot of their COVID money uh, across the space has got everybody excited. You've got Merck looking at Seattle, although now it's a little bit of in limbo. And I do think you're going to see M&A as a tail, and particularly into January. I know there's a JP Morgan conference coming up and other conference seasons, and people start to get excited into January. But look, we've had a nice rally. I think M&A, positive data points. I think we're moving higher. Is it your view that we, the, the, the names might have been entering a period or window of political risk, but we're sort of exiting that now? Yeah. Well, look, I think one of the most interesting data points, and we had a lot of uh, conversations with investors about this over the last month, was, wait a second, you have the Inflation Reduction Act, you have all of this Medicare negotiation, drug pricing concern that's always been a problem for the sector. You had all of this passed, yet the group moved higher over the last two months. We think people are digesting that. We think people are comfortable with that. You look at where stocks are and valuations are, basically five- and six-year lows on valuation. People are willing to forego that, particularly in this macro-recessionary environment. Not a lot of concern about that. So with M&A, drug pricing behind us, I think you can start to dip your toes back into here. I like the pullback here, by the way. 10% pullback is healthy, and I think we move back higher off this correction. Yeah, I, I imagine some investors are, are keeping an open mind about some upside uh, playbooks. Michael, appreciate that very much. Good to talk to you. Good long weekend. Good stuff. Thank you, guys.